Once upon a time, there were Frank and Grace, two happy farmers. Far away from the hustle and bustle of the city, their farm was in a picturesque valley, surrounded by green fields and forests. In the mornings, they woke up to the chirping of birds, and their days were spent taking care of their animals and crops. Frank was a tall and strong man with a beard, always ready to work on the farm. Grace was a gentle woman with golden hair and a talent for caring for every living creature. They were an inseparable couple, and their friendship and love grew stronger with each passing year. Their farm kept them busy with various tasks, but they never found it too hard. They built new barns, planted vegetables and fruits, and tended to their cows and sheep. In the evenings, they gathered around a campfire under the stars and listened to stories passed down from generation to generation. They had faithful animal friends. Old dog Barney was always by Frank's side, helping him tend to the herd. Grace often talked to the chickens, and they always laid the most delicious eggs. Even their horses, Bella and Troy, were considered part of the family. Frank and Grace spent their days together, filled with laughter and warmth working on the farm. Their life was carefree and harmonious with nature. They knew every tree and every animal on their farm. But one day, something changed. In the nearby city, new businesses started to grow and life began to shift. With time, the city near Frank and Grace's Valley started to expand rapidly. New enterprises and companies overshadowed the one sunny fields that had illuminated their farm. Their land became the target of greedy investors. Frank and Grace faced a difficult decision. The new tall buildings, Nose, and City Bustle were a stark contrast to the carefree life they had known on the farm. They discussed it at length. Finally, Frank said, Darling, we've always been together and together we can face any changes. Let's embark on a new adventure and move to the city. Grace agreed, and they began preparing for a big move, saying goodbye to their faithful friends, Barney, the chickens, and the horses. Frank and Grace headed for the city. Their first days in the big city were not easy. Frank and Grace felt the difference in the pace of life, the crowds, the fast movement, and the constant nose. They rented a small apartment, and their mornings no longer started with the chirping of birds but with the city's hustle and bustle. However, they didn't lose hope. Frank found a job in a construction company where his farming skills proved valuable. He became an expert in beautifying city parks and squares, and his work was always appreciated for its beauty and care. Grace didn't let go of her passion for flowers. She developed her small flower shop into a thriving business. Her flowers became popular among the city dwellers, and she even started supplying them to restaurants and beauty salons. Most importantly, Frank and Grace remained true to their principles and values. They always strived to keep a piece of nature in the city. Grace continued to grow flowers on a small piece of land she found in the city. Even creating a small park for the residents, they organized gardening workshops for children and invited them to care for the flowers and plants. Their small piece of land became an oasis of peace in the nosy city. Aside from work, Frank and Grace always made time for each other. They went on walks together, visited local museums and theaters, and reserved days for family picnics on their little piece of land. Over the years, their friendship and love only grew stronger. They realized that happiness wasn't about where you live but about your relationship with each other and your ability to adapt to change. And so, Frank and Grace lived happily ever after in the big city, staying true to their roots and principles. Their story became a lesson that together they could overcome any challenge and create their own little corner of happiness wherever they found themselves.